Stephanie, you are playing the waiting game, and many New Yorkers are. They want to know uh, how much snow we're going to get, and it all really depends on still the track. Okay, and now listen. You guys know I'm straight up. I was just on Periscope. We were talking about dating, and I said I never bring a representative to the first date. I just, I don't like to play games. I show you who I am, like, right straight up, take it or leave it. That's kind of what we're dealing with with Jonas. Okay, Jonas is coming in, and um, Jonas is playing games. Jonas is that, you know, girl or guy that's showing up to the date, playing games, not showing, you know, uh, his authenticity right off the bat, and you got to figure out, like, oh, it's so annoying, right? I don't want to play games with Jonas or someone I'm trying to date. Here's a look at our snow totals, okay? The problem is in New York, we're on the northern fringe of this thing. So that's problem number one, because right when you're on that northern fringe, where does it stop? Where does it, it has to stop at some point. The other problem is there's a very sharp cutoff. So like in the city, you could have six to 12, and then you go to White Plains. A lot of people commute in and out of White Plains. You could get three inches, okay? So... That's the reality. I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, we're going to get, you know, a lot of people are like, give me the numbers, give me the numbers. I'm going to tell you why we're having trouble with this forecast and why it is so tough. I'm going to keep it real and keep it authentic. That's how I roll. Okay. So here's a look. We have blizzard warnings. You hear blizzard warning, you think, hmm, that means we're going to have a lot of snow. Not necessarily. You could have a few inches of snow, but the wind comes in and that's say the biggest issue with Jonas because there's so many big issues. I mean, yes, you could see, th uh, you know, 30 inches of snow um, in places in the mid-Atlantic. We're getting icing in the south. We're getting severe weather. We saw seven inches of snow in Arkansas, which blows away our old record of four inches. But the wind is going to be so strong for so many people across the board here, and that's going to cause some flooding, and that's also why we have the blizzard warnings up. So even if we only get three inches, if you have winds, you know, sustained at 35 miles an hour for three hours or more, takes down the visibility to a quarter mile or less, that's what a blizzard advisory is for. It's for the visibility and it's for those stronger winds. Not for the, there's, there's no criteria in the definition of a blizzard for snowfall. It is winds and visibility, okay? So keep that in mind here, those little blizzard warnings from Long Island. Anywhere from, like, New York northbound, our forecast is hard. So just keep that in mind. That's just the reality of the science of the forecasting. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to really wait until tomorrow until we can figure out exact numbers here. So you guys just keep tuning in. Keep joining me on Periscope. We're doing it. Every time I get off air, we go on Periscope, on Twitter, Facebook, Snap, all the different social medias, and we're discussing it there, and we can talk more about it. I'm cool. I'm all about communication. You know what, uh, guys? Jen, am I going back to you in studio? It's all about communication in life. If you, if you just say it calmly and you communicate, then we're all good. Everyone knows what's up. Everyone's on the same page. Dating advice and weather advice from Stephanie Abrams. Back to you. <laughs> I'm learning a lot. my mind, and it's only day one of this storm. <laughs> we have learned a lot. Yeah. Um, we also totally get with the whole communication thing, and when we're when we're all looking at the same data and crunching the numbers, there's a lot that goes into it, and there's sort of this art in the science where you talk probabilities and you kind of weigh, you know, the odds of something occurring. Yeah, I think Stephanie hit on a really good point, and you know, we've been talking about it now for a couple of days. Where where when you're given a forecast, it's actually a distribution of possible outcomes. Mm -hmm. It's not one mm -hmm. because there's a lot of opportunity for other things to happen. 